I'm Ashton Addison from EventChain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Max Rye, the CEO of Deep Cloud AI. Max, it's a pleasure to have you on the show today, and thank you so much for taking the time to be here. Uh, thank you, Ashton. It's a pleasure to be on here as well. You're very welcome. Let's kick it off with a discussion about Deep Cloud AI. Could you please start by giving us an overview of the company and what you are trying to achieve in the industry? Uh, well, we started this project a few years ago, uh, and what our what our goal really was. And by the way, we come from the the cloud space prior to this, from a, from a, a traditional uh, tech background. Um, we did a lot of um, digital transformations for for uh, large companies, uh, and uh, we worked quite a few uh, worked quite a bit with a lot of other uh, cloud companies that are out there. Uh, so we definitely saw massive potential uh, in the decentralized uh, environment. We saw other competitors doing something similar to, to what we wanted to do. So we, we um, worked together with our team and uh, started building uh, our own decentralized uh, cloud. Uh, and really, uh, that's, uh, that's how we, we started off this, uh, with, with a lot of our team members. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So you're providing a decentralized cloud mainly for decentralized applications, is it? Now, what, what are the current problems in the industry that you guys are solving? Uh, well, currently, it's very difficult um, because the, the other folks that are doing uh, decentralized cloud don't necessarily have have a uh, product ready to use uh, for end users that they can actually install, download, install, and start sharing their resources right right out of the uh, right out of the box. Uh, that's something that we wanted to address. We have a great team, uh, so we were able to ramp that up. We had a Linux version that we rolled out first, uh, then we rolled out a Windows version. Uh, that uh, allows people to um, s start using this product right away. Uh, and as of last year, uh, they can already start launching um, containerized dApps or decentralized applications uh, and even start hosting their websites in a decentralized way. Hmm. Very interesting. Now, are there a lot of other competitors that are doing this same thing? And how large is this market for you guys? Does this apply to every business? Well, it, you know, the competition in decentralized environment is is a, a bit different just because everybody's kind of trying to address a different area. Um, I know some guys are focused a lot more on um, on uh, on the GPU side, um, rent, renting out GPU. Uh, some guys are focused on the compute. Uh, and uh, some people are in different stages. Uh, we wanted to kind of take a focus on putting a product that's out that everybody can use from day one. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's actually a useful product um, right, at, right away. And by the way, besides that, we've already launched a few uh, products that's pretty popular. Uh, one of them is called Deep Transfer. It's a file sharing program. Um, one of the heaviest uses, uh, uses in Mexico right now for with the media companies, actually. Hmm. Very interesting. And how much time have you put into the development of Deep Cloud AI so far? And uh, is that your main product, or are there more products that are coming out still? Well, like I mentioned before, what we were able to do is uh, allow people to um, host containerized websites and dApps right out of the, uh, the gate. Uh, now, what's really, really cool is we're making a, a major announcement pretty soon. Uh, we're working with um, some with a TLD, which is a top-level domain, and we are looking at um, we're looking at decentralized domain registry, which is really huge. And that will allow us to provide a product end to end decentralized. So there's some really amazing things that we're, that we're doing there. Interesting. And is that similar to the ENS, like Ethereum name service that we've seen where people can purchase Ethereum domain names? Is that the, similar to that? Very similar to that. Um, this is um, fully registered uh, through ICANN. Uh, so it's something that's uh, that everyone can use, and we're also going to have our digital wallets uh, that people can attach uh, their their uh, Ethereum addresses to, because we are going to be building this on the Ethereum network. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And is there a business model that is built into Deep Cloud? How are you going to drive revenue sources and create a sustainable business? From day one, we're able to, especially as we're launching these products, uh, we already have a subscription basis. So we have people already purchasing our products, which is great. Uh, and as we launch these decentralized domain registry, uh, as well as our other products, which are um, deep cloud uh, decentralized products, they all are, um, they, we have a free version and we have paid uh, versions as well. So 
they're they're getting plenty of usage already. Interesting. And what is your the what's the size of your current customer base right now? And is it really focused in North America, Asia, or is it in any specific countries? Um, Latin America, we have quite a bit of traction, uh, just because that's where we have a lot of our enterprise partners. Um, we have about 18 uh, enterprise partners in uh, in Mexico. Uh, and we also have a, a pretty big project that we're working closely with the government, uh, which is a uh, which is a vehicle registration program. Uh, that's uh, we'll be releasing some more announcements on that pretty soon. Uh, but uh, that's a, another great project we're doing. Uh, that uh, that'll be all blockchain based as well. Very interesting. And with Deep Cloud, have you integrated a cryptocurrency into the platform as well? And if you have, how does that work within the system? Sure, absolutely. Uh, we have our own deep token, uh, which uh, is going to, which is ERC twenty. Uh, it's used for payments. Uh, it's used used for audit trails. So we're using the blockchain for various things uh, based off of which products that we have or that we're putting out there. Uh, DocuSign, which is uh, we're we're working on a, a version of DocuSign called DeepSign. Uh, we'll have a blockchain um, trails and so forth for that. Uh, as you can imagine, we can integrate the blockchain uh, aspect of it in, in, in various different ways. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting. And you mentioned earlier that you guys are utilizing the Ethereum blockchain. But now, is that something that's going to, uh, that's indefinite? Or are you planning on building your own blockchain or looking at a more scalable solution in the future? We've been developing our own blockchain as well. And we're in the middle of it. It's called DeepChain. Um, and uh, that, whether... That'll take time to develop and mature. However, for us to work with enterprise partners um, on day one, we need to be able to provide solutions. And by the way, I also want to mention it's not just uh, Ethereum, but we're also working with Hyperledger as well. So when we're working with uh, enterprises, we have to be able to provide uh, um, consistent results, uh, something that's, uh, that they can rely on. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. And what does the upcoming road, roadmap look like for your team? Are you guys strictly focused on development or marketing or a mixture? We have a, actually, we have a, a, quite a few things that are coming up. We're getting ready to launch um, some major marketing around some of the products that we're launching, uh, as well as uh, some new offerings that will be, uh, that'll be, that'll be coming out. Um, but uh, we'll definitely stay tuned for over the next few months. Um, we, we have a lot of stuff coming. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And what would you say are the biggest challenges moving forward uh, that may lay ahead as you continue to try and grow the product? Uh, the challenges really are continuing to see uh, the adoption, uh, you know, seeing how the adoption takes off, what kind of partnerships uh, can help with that, uh, how the industry continues to, to change what, uh, and uh, what big players come in. Uh, and um, and bring this bring this adoption into play because I do believe it's happening fairly soon. We also have noticed uh, uh, Facebook and some other giants uh, getting in on it. Yeah, it's an interesting time. Facebook, big banks, they're all creating their own coins and trying to integrate the blockchain as well. So we'll see how that works out. Now, if there are, are you guys looking for more people to join your team, or more investors, or just more cu end customers? And how can those people learn more about DeepCloud? Sure, they can go to deepcloudai.com. Uh, we are looking for all of the above, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, but definitely, we have great community that's uh, that's with us, um, and even our existing investors have been absolutely phenomenal, and uh, they've been helping with the growth, uh, with the advisement, uh, and how to really go to market. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And is there any last words you'd like to give to the audience about Deep Cloud AI moving forward? Uh, please stay tuned. I think this is going to be really, really big. What we're coming out with, uh, it's um, uh, it's it's definitely definitely going to be change the landscape of how domains are uh, sold uh, and uh, and are, are going to be decentralized. Uh, so keep an eye on us. Uh, we have a lot of stuff coming. Amazing. I'll leave the links in the description box below to the Deep Cloud AI. Uh, site and everything else and thank you so much for your time Max it's been a pleasure speaking to you and all the best on your project moving forward thank you Ashton I, re I really appreciate it